Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. Today's video has been in the making for quite a few days. It's taken me a few days to film it and that is because I am trying out five makeup setting sprays that contain SPF. Now that we're into spring, we're going to be rolling into summer. We're spending more time outdoors. Maybe we're going to the beach. We're going to the lake. We're just hanging out in the backyard, having a great time. It's important for us to remember to wear our sunscreen and to more importantly, reapply your sunscreen. So if you guys want to see me wear test these five different makeup setting sprays from drugstore to high end, keep on watching. And before we get started with today's video, I just want to say hello and welcome to all of my new subscribers. So happy to have all of you here. And if it is your first time here on my channel, let me introduce myself. Hello, my name is Steph and I love trying out new makeup, testing makeup, wear tests, foundation reviews eyeshadow palette looks, you name it. If that sounds great to you and you want to see my videos on pretty much a daily basis, I upload a lot. Do me a favor, click on that subscribe button and hit the bell next to it. That way you can be notified every time I do drop a new video. And if you like what you see, if you are in the market for a good makeup setting spray with SPF, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up before you go. Now, let me just preface this entire video with saying that I'm going to be keeping the makeup that I wear for the next five days, because it took me five days to film this video. Uh, I'm gonna be wearing the same makeup products, and let me show them to you guys before we get into the first makeup setting spray with SPF demo. So for primer, I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty Glowish Blur Jam Primer. This is a fantastic primer primer, especially for those of you with normal to oily or full-on oily skin. It is also a silicone-free primer. For foundation, one of my holy grail foundations that cost five, six bucks. I'm talking about Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator in the shade Fair. This is a must-try. If you've never tried this one, run to your local drugstore, supermarket, pick this up, and thank me later. For concealer, I'm wearing one of my trusted concealers from the drugstore, and it is from L'Oreal. This is their infallible 24-hour full wear concealer, and I use the shade 345. To set my T-zone and my under eye area, I'm using one of my new favorite setting powders, and this one is from Moira. This is their Set and Correct Loose Setting Powder. It's one of those tricolor powders, and the shade I have in this one is 05 Rose Pink. Now, before I go in with any powder products, I'm going to be setting my face with the NYX Matte Setting Spray. This is another holy grail setting spray of mine from the drugstore. After I go in with this, that's when I go in with the Moira powder, bronzer, blush, and the bronzer, blush, and highlighter that I've been using the last five days. Uh, bronzer has been the um, reformulated bronzer from Kosas. This one is in the shade Beachy. I've been wearing the Chucky and Glam Light blush. It's a pink blush. And then I've been wearing two different Rare Beauty highlighters, but the main one that I've been wearing is uh, the pinkish one, and it's in the shade Mesmerize. And just for reference, guys, especially those of you that it's your first time here on my channel, I am 41 years old with normal to oily skin, oily primarily in my T-zone. I used to suffer from really bad acne growing up, so I do have uh, old acne scars, minor discoloration on the sides of my cheeks, and this is where I always tend to build up coverage. I tend to get oily around, you know, the five, six hour mark. These are gonna be 10 hour wear tests with check-ins in between. So that way you guys can see how my makeup is looking when I'm reapplying these setting sprays with SPF. And I just wanna quickly show you, share with you the setting sprays that I'm gonna be demoing in today's video. We have the new one from Pixie. SPF 50. We have a, uh, I think a relatively new one from the brand Vacation. This one I got at Ulta and this is a Super Spritz SPF 
50. We also have a new brand to Sephora, and I think this is a new sunscreen as well, Soleil Toujours. This one is their Clean Conscious Set and Protect Micro Mist with SPF 30. We have a new one from the brand Kula that is 70% organic. This one is going to contain um, SPF 50 in it. And then my holy grail setting spray because I wanted to compare these new ones to what was currently my holy grail and has been a holy grail for like the last two or three years. And I'm talking about this one from Kate Somerville. This is the uncomplicated SPF 50. This is going to be like a satin matte finish setting spray. I've used this for a long time. This one is, I think, the most expensive out of the bunch, but it does go on sale often. So grab it if you think you're going to like it. If you like the way it looks, I'm saving that one for the very end. But those are going to be the setting sprays that I will be trying out in today's video. Everything that I'm using will be linked and listed in the description box. Let's get started with this five day, 10 hour wear test. I'll have some timestamps in case you guys want to skip around because I have a feeling this is going to be a long video. But up first is going to be the new one from Pixie. Let's get started. So up first, we're going to be doing this new one from Pixie. I think this is the one I am most excited about. This is their new Pixie Sun Treats 50 Sun Mist. This is going to help uh, obviously protect our skin from the sun's rays, but it's also going to help to lock in our makeup. This says that you can use it before or after makeup application. Um, this also says it is water resistant for the first 80 minutes. It does contain aloe vera, avocado, oil, vitamin E, and it is formulated without fragrance. Thank goodness. Once again, this is going to be SPF 50. Now I already have my face of makeup on at least what I'm doing for right now. Not too sure if I'm doing an eye look today, but I do obviously have mascara, brows, bronzer, powder, all of the good stuff. Let's give this a good shake. In here, you are getting six ounces of product and it does retail for $15. I got mine straight from the Pixie website, but you can also find this at Target. And just a quick reminder, I am wearing a traditional sunscreen underneath my makeup. It's been about an hour since I've applied that. So technically now would be a good time to reapply sunscreen. So let's spray the face. You want to leave your eyes closed for just a little bit. I love that this is an aerosol. Like I don't feel much like water droplets. There's not a lot of moisture. It kind of feels really similar to this one size until dawn mattifying setting mist, which I love that one. So typically these sunscreens, since I am a normal to oily skin type, they can cause excess oiliness a lot sooner than I would like. So before I let you guys go, let me just take a closer look. I feel like that went on top of the makeup perfectly. Like I don't have any issues with it. It's not causing, it didn't cause any water droplets. Like it's just perfect. It's perfect. I feel like I actually have a nice little glow. Now, fingers crossed, this doesn't make me excess oily by the midday check-in, but we'll see. If I need to powder down my T-zone, which is the oiliest place on my face, I'll do so during that uh, midpoint check-in with you guys. So this has 10 hours to go. I will see you guys later on, and I hope you are having a great day. Okay guys, this is the five hour check-in trying out this new one from Pixie. I am not seeing any issues. Like my makeup looks great. I've been indoors and outdoors. It is a hot sunny day here in South Texas. I don't feel like I'm excessively oily. I actually don't even feel like I need to touch up, but I have my little powder puff. So I'm just gonna lightly dab over like my T-zone area. I've already had lunch and just everything is looking really good. I'm not seeing where the makeup is breaking apart or anything like that, but it's time for us to reapply. Okay. So great. I don't notice anything caking up. I don't see feel like any water droplets. I don't see any water droplets. I don't see that this is messing with my makeup at all. Thank goodness. I will be back a little bit later. We'll reapply one last time and I'll wrap up today's wear test. So here we are at the 10 hour check-in and this is what my complexion is looking like. Granted, I am wearing some of my holy grail makeup products like the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. That is so good. If you haven't tried it, you need to try it. But I am shocked, pleasantly surprised, 
a little bit speechless over this new one from Pixie. Their Sun Mist SPF 50. You can use it under makeup, over makeup to set everything, which is how we've been using it today. Reapply it throughout the day. I reapplied about an hour ago and I'm going to reapply again. So I've already applied this. This is going to be the fourth time that I apply this makeup setting mist. Leave your eyes closed for a couple seconds after you spray it. It smells like a typical sunscreen does, but some of you might be sensitive to SPF around the immediate eye area. So just in case, make sure you just keep your eyes closed for a little bit. I don't want you to get like any eye irritation or anything. Although I haven't noticed any funny business with this one today. All I've noticed is that I'm not excessively oily when typically I would be just naturally at this time of the day, especially wearing a makeup setting spray that has SPF 50. And I think my makeup looks fantastic. I think it looks so smooth. It's not breaking up. It's just, it's looking really good for 10 hours of wear, indoors, outdoors, hot, humid, South Texas day. Ugh. My God, I cannot believe this one. I'm really, really speechless. I think this is definitely worth its 15 bucks. And I'm going to give this, man, I almost want to give this five stars because I've had such a beautiful experience, but nothing is perfect, right? But this is pretty close. We're going to give this four and a half stars. I cannot wait for tomorrow. I have very high hopes now. My expectations are like way up here now. This new one from Pixie has definitely set the bar really high for the next makeup setting sprays that I'm gonna be trying out in today's video. So now we're in day number two, wearing pretty much the same complexion products minus the blush and highlighter. I did change those up and of course the lipstick, but today is all about the new makeup setting spray from the brand Vacation. And this is their Super Spritz SPF 50 Face Mist. It retails for $24 on Ulta's website and in here you are getting 2.2 fluid ounces of product. Now this is going to provide an invisible finishing mist and it's supposed to help set the makeup. It says it's going to be quick drying and it's going to provide a satin finish. Easy application and reapplication, which is exactly what we want. Reef friendly formula. It is vegan and cruelty free as well. Now it says it's going to have a hint of the Vacation Brands award winning scent. I've never tried this brand before, so looking forward to that. It says it's going to be transparent on all skin types and it's going to have a clean, lightweight feel. It says it's going to help skin look its best when faced with daily stresses such as blue light pollution and other environmental strains and the last couple ingredients it says it has on here are aloe and cucumber caffeine banana and coconut shea and maracuja oils green tea vitamin e algae and ferulic acid this sounds pretty good it sounds like it's packed with a bunch of good skincare ingredients but let's see how it's going to go on top of this makeup so here is what it looks like you always want to give these a good shake now i haven't spritzed this yet okay Seems like a fine mist. Again, again, just leave your eyes closed for a little bit to make sure, you know, it's fully set. I feel like this against the Pixie, I got more spray from the Pixie one, but because it's an aerosol container. So I am going to have this face of makeup on for 10 hours and I'm going to do another check-in midday, probably sometime after lunch. We'll reapply and touch up as needed. I'll go about my day. I'll spritz again and then I'll come back and I will let you guys see how this face looks uh, with this new Vacation Super Spritz SPF 50. As of right now, I'm looking really close to my monitor, have my mirror here. I'm not seeing like any water droplets. I'm not seeing that it's breaking up the makeup or anything like that. I feel like it just went on top of it perfectly. Smells nice, sprayed nice. Let's see, let's see if it's going to play nice today. All right, here we are at the five hour check-in. This is what my complexion is looking like. No touch-ups. I haven't resprayed, but I'm gonna spray right now on camera. I think before I do that, I'm just gonna get the powder puff I used this morning. I'm just gonna press over my nose. Even though I feel pretty matte, I feel like my skin, my makeup is in check. I don't see anything, you know, amiss. So let's go in, here we go, one more time. Now I see it looks a little moist right up here. I'm just going to pat that in with my finger. Other than that, 
this is not causing me to get excess oily. It has a pleasant uh, scent to it. And I think it's playing nice with the rest of the makeup. Five more hours to go. I'm gonna re-spritz probably around the seven hour mark. And then I'll do that 10 hour check-in with you guys and we'll wrap up this wear test with this new one from Vacation. It is their Super Spritz SPF 50 Facial Makeup Setting Spray Mist. Okay guys, so here we are at the 10 hour mark. And I did reapply two hours ago, so at the eight hour mark, I feel like my complexion is definitely more shiny at this point versus where I was yesterday when I was wear testing the Pixie Spray. I am going to give my nose and my T-zone a quick pat down. And so you can see a little bit. See how it's breaking up right here around the nose? I'm definitely really shiny on my forehead. I even noticed some shininess right here on my eyelids. Obviously, I didn't do an eye look today. But I can see that my makeup has started to break apart, especially where the oil is starting to come through. I'm going to give this another shake. Now I do see a couple little droplets like I did earlier. So you can just take your finger if you're gonna buy this or you already bought it, just kind of take your finger and lightly pat them out. I wouldn't go in with a sponge or anything just because I would fear you're going to be taking off the product and at least with your finger, you can kind of just press it in. Overall for $24, I wouldn't say this has been my favorite. I'm definitely leaning more towards the Pixie and to my beloved Kate Somerville, which we will be testing later on in this video. Um, this is the Vacation uh, Super Spritz SPF 50 Face Mist. You can wear this under your makeup, on top of your makeup. I am obviously choosing to wear this as a makeup setting spray, a makeup refresher. But today, I think it just made me a little too glowy, uh, brought out my oils a little too much. Like I have a feeling some of these other SPF setting sprays are going to do. I also wanna mention how this feels on my skin. Like I don't feel icky or gross. It doesn't feel like, it feels a little tacky, but not too, too much. I mean, I just spritz my face with it, but it feels comfortable. I, I will point that out. And the, the smell, the scent doesn't linger. It really goes away within like a minute of applying. So if you're wondering about how it felt, it's definitely lightweight, just like the Pixie one was. So I'm going to give this one a 3.5 star rating. Given the price, the amount of product, $24, 2.2 fluid ounces. I just, I don't know. I think it could have done a bit of a better job, but it's definitely not the worst makeup setting spray with SPF that I've tried. Uh, this is on the better side, a good middle of the road setting spray with SPF. All right, next up on day three is the newest drop from Soleil Du Jour's, Du Jour's, and this dropped at Sephora a couple weeks ago. This is their SPF 30 a Clean Conscious Set and Protect Micro Mist. It says, of course, it is a uh, water resistant up to is it 60? This one is 80 minutes and it's 70% organic. It retails for $42 and you are getting 1.7 fluid ounces of product. So this one so far is the most expensive. A couple shout outs about this particular setting spray. It says it's going to be hydrating. It is reef safe waterproof. Uh, it is formulated without oxybenzone and it is vegan. It says that it's infused with hyaluronic acid, vitamin C and vitamin E, and it supports, hydrates and finishes your makeup look. So let's give it a good shake. Let's see what the mister is first. Oh, it's a fine mist. All right. There's a scent to it. Oh, this is a kind of a strong scent. Let's see. It's a sunscreen scent. And you do get quite a bit of mist when you do spray it out. And so far, I don't see... Let me take a closer look. I don't see any little water droplets. Oh, wow. That is a nice mist. Now, it felt very weightless going on. I don't feel, like it doesn't really feel tacky, my face. And I kind of did set, you know, the perimeter and everything. I'm going to be creating an eye look in a little bit, but 
the mister was pretty good on this one so i'm excited for it i had never heard of soleil toujours before spf 30 70 percent organic this might be something that sounds good, and if it works, it might be something you want to pick up to the, during the Sephora VIB sale. So I'll be back in five hours. We'll do another mist. We'll do another check-in. I'm going to reapply around the seven, eight-hour mark, and then I will come back on 10 hours from now, give you guys my first impressions and final thoughts over this one. Hey, guys, five-hour check-in here. We are wear testing Soleil Toujours SPF 30 set and protect makeup setting spray. I feel like I'm starting to become a little bit oily on my nose. So I'm just going to take whatever powder is left on the uh, makeup puff that I used earlier today and just kind of pat over my T-zone before we reapply the setting spray. I think everything looks good. I did film this makeup look. You guys will likely see the makeup look go up as a YouTube short and Instagram reel long before you see this video. Let me give the setting spray a good shake. Now, like I mentioned before, it does have a scent. It's an SPF scent, but I'm liking the mister on this. I feel like it's a finer mist than um, the vacation one that I tried yesterday. But I don't know. I feel like this one might make me a little bit more oily. We'll see. I'm going to reapply around the 7 or 8 hour mark. And then I'll come back at the 10 hour mark. And we'll wrap up this review on the Soleil Toujours SPF Makeup Setting Spray. Okay, guys. So here we are at the 10 hour check-in. I did reapply around the 7 and a half, 8 hour mark. And I haven't done any touch-up since. I do feel like I'm... A little bit shiny especially like right here on my nose and on my forehead you can even see a bit of a glow going on I feel like my highlighter is a little bit accentuated which I don't mind that at all um, I do feel and I think you can see right in here the makeup is starting to break apart not terribly but you know it is there it's been 10 hours and reapplying sunscreen can tend to cause excess oiliness. What I like about this, I do like the mister. The fragrance, I don't mind. It goes away really fast. It just smells like a sunscreen. Um, it's SPF 30. It's like a clean product at Sephora. It's vegan. It also contains hyaluronic acid, which I think hyaluronic acid is great for all skin types. Don't just think that, you know, it's only for dry skin types. Hyaluronic acid is good for oily skin types as well. You always want to retain the moisture in your skin that's always going to help preserve youth it's also just going to help make your skin look a little bit clearer a little bit plumper and all skin no matter what type it is needs moisture to it so that i like this is 42 dollars. that is what i don't like and i don't think it's terrible but i do think that the pixie one is still in the lead I'm going to get give this one from Soleil Toujours a 4 out of 5 star rating. I think it did all right. Let's give my complexion one last spritz with it. And again, if you see any little droplets, which I haven't really noticed any with this one, just use your finger to kind of just pat them out. Don't use a sponge, don't use a puff, because then I think you're just gonna be removing the sunscreen and you wanna have that sunscreen on your complexion. But I think this is a nice one. Uh, maybe this is something you're gonna wanna pick up during the Sephora VIB sale. I'm hoping this video goes up while the, stay, while the sale is still going on. I'm not entirely sure, just because I'm testing so many of them but um this one wasn't too bad it wasn't too bad it's not the best I still think the pixie one is in the lead but this brand made a good first impression in my stash it feels good it doesn't feel overly tacky it doesn't feel greasy or anything like that that's what I've been noticing with the last three sunscreens they don't give me like that icky feeling and none of them have irritated my eyes which is a huge bonus so not bad 
four out of five stars for this one. Okay guys, so here is day four of us trying out these makeup setting sprays. Today we're going to be trying out Kula Classic Face Mist Sunscreen. This is an organic sunscreen. Actually, it says 70% organic. Um, this is going to help set our makeup. It's supposed to be non-greasy, lightweight hydration, and plant protection SPF 50 in this one let me give you guys some additional details before I spritz this face and yes I realize I don't have my eyebrows on yet I'm gonna have to take care of those when I get to work but um, it says that this is gonna be obviously the same thing water resistant up to 80 minutes it is cruelty free Hawaii reef compliant gluten-free it's a vegan and it's enriched with antioxidant rich plant protection complex and dermatologist tested yep i think that is pretty much all you need to know let's give this a good shake i actually like the packaging on this one i've tried Kula has another set, setting mist that I've tried in the past, but mm, it was just, it was just okay. Oh, and this one comes sealed. It has like a plastic all around it. Now this one I did pick up at Ulta. It retails for $32 and in here you get 3.4 fluid ounces of product. So let's give it a good shake. I don't hear like a little ball in there to mix up the uh, SPF. Let me prime this pump. Okay. Okay, it has a scent to it. It's a little stronger than like a typical SPF. Oh yeah, that is, that's a little bit stronger than a typical SPF setting mist. I wouldn't say it is the finest of misters. I do see a little bit of water droplets on my forehead. Not so much here on my face, but I think you can see them right in there as well so i'm just using my finger to kind of just pat that in and okay yeah see you can see them oh, i don't like that i don't like the way that looks i don't want to use a sponge because i'm afraid again a sponge will just absorb what i applied and that's not what we want so this is the face I'm gonna do my check-in during my lunch break. I will take my little makeup puff that I use to apply powder with just to do a quick touch-up in the T-zone. And then of course, I will reapply this. I am gonna be indoors most of the day, but I'm still gonna reapply around the seven or eight hour check-in because that's usually uh, right before the time that I leave for work. And then when I get home from work, we will wrap up this 10 hour wear test, trying out this new 70% organic Kula Classic Face Mist with SPF 50. Hey guys, this is the five hour check-in. So here's what the complexion is looking like shiny nose i feel like i'm a little more shiny today than uh, i have been in these last few days of trying out these spf makeup setting sprays but i have my little powder puff let me grab it so this is just the one i used in the morning i'm just gonna lightly dab my nose dab right here my t-zone i'm on my lunch break by the way and i forgot to bring my little ring light with me, but I'm going to re-spritz my face. So let me give it a good shake. And it's actually a really overcast day. So this one, I can see, I can see the little water droplets on this one. I don't, I don't like that. But I'm just kind of pressing them out. I only have like a few minutes left on my lunch break, but Here's how the complexion is looking. I don't see like the makeup breaking up or anything, which is great. It's just the shininess factor that's coming through. But I'll be back um, later on when I get home from work. I'm going to respray around the seven or eight hour mark. And then I'll come back on at the end of the day and I will wrap up my thoughts on this new 70% organic Kula Classic Face Mist Sunscreen SPF 50 so stay tuned okay guys we've come to the end of this 10 hour wear test I did spray or reapply the sunscreen at about the eight hour mark and I think you can clearly see that I'm 
I'm pretty shiny. I'm going to get my little powder puff again, kind of just press over everything. But like yesterday with the other setting spray, that vacation one, it's really emphasizing the highlighter, which I mean, I don't mind that. Like, look at this beautiful glow, but it's like right here in the T-zone that I need to be as matte <laughs> as possible. And I feel like you can see right there, like the makeup starting to break apart. I don't think it's doing it as bad as it did yesterday with the other setting spray. So I'm going to give this one last spritz. Let me shake it up. And you can see that right after I spray my face, there's obviously an immediate glow. But I like that this doesn't really leave too many droplets. Like it's not, it's not, it's not terrible, but it is going to give you, or it is going to cause excess oiliness. It's definitely going to make you glowy. I think if you're along the lines of a full on oily skin type, this is not going to be for you. I mean, unless you're wearing it without makeup and you're just using it to, you know, just reapply sunscreen when you're at the beach or just like an outdoor event, I think it's going to be good. I do like the mister on it. I think it's a fine mist. The scent is just, you know, a regular SPF scent. Um, it doesn't feel like gross on the skin. It just feels, it feels good. You know, it still feels slightly tacky. Obviously I just applied it, but what I've been enjoying about all of these setting sprays that I've been trying out is they don't make my, my skin feel icky and gross and like I'm ready to remove my makeup. So that is a really good thing, but clearly you can see this does provide a bit of a glow. Um, this is definitely going to be something that if you do have full on oily skin or you're a normal to oily skin type like mine, you're definitely going to have to powder and then spray. Um, because yeah, it's going to make you, it's going to make you really glowy. So I think I'm going to give this one and it does say, it does say non-greasy lightweight hydration and plant protection SPF 50. Um, I'm going to give this one I, I like the mist on it and I like that it doesn't leave like any droplets and stuff. I'm going to give it four out of five stars. I think it did. I think it did all right. It's just on me with, you know, my normal to oily skin. It does make me a little excess oily, but it's not, it's not terrible. It's not something that powder can't fix. So we have another setting spray up tomorrow and I will see you guys then with a new one. Okay guys, we are testing the final setting spray and it is my holy grail. This has been a holy grail of mine for the last maybe three years and it comes to us from Kate Somerville. This is her uncomplicated SPF soft focus makeup setting spray. It does have SPF 50 in it. This is going to be the most expensive one in the bunch. This one retails for $44 and in here you are getting 3.4 fluid ounces of product. Now this one will tend to go on sale time to time at Ulta and other Kate Somerville real retailers. So that is typically when I restock on it. However, this time around, I had to pay full price, but it is what it is. I was dedicated to doing this makeup setting spray with SPF wear test for you guys, and this is one that I really enjoy. So let me give you guys some quick specifics on this makeup setting spray. It does contain hyaluronic acid. It says that it contains Rodalia rosea, which is an adaptogenic plant that adapts and thrives in harsh conditions that is known to have anti-stress and antioxidant properties. It also says that it contains light diffusing silicone powder, which softens the appearance of lines and wrinkles. We all want that. Um, and it reduces shine and provides a matte finish. I guess you can see why it's been a holy grail of mine, just because so many SPF uh, makeup setting sprays can cause excess oiliness and I am a normal to oily skin type. Um, it does say, okay, so this might be a deal breaker for some of you. The fragrance notes, notes on this particular product are lavender, 
and essential oil. So I know essential oil is a deal breaker for some of you. I have never experienced irritation with it. Um, all I've experienced is great makeup. So let me give it a shake. It does have that little ball in there to make sure you mix up the product. And on the bottom, it does give you the expiration date. So this expires August of 2024. Great, I have over a year to use it up. Now it does come with an aerosol spray and you just have to twist it to open it. I'm just going to, it's a very fine mist. Now the scent on this one is actually not very strong. I would say that out of all of the setting sprays that I've tried for you guys, this has a less amount of scent. And while I can still smell the SPF scent, although not very strong, I do get a whiff of that lavender that we were, that we was talking about. Now this sprays very evenly on the complexion. I see zero droplets. I feel like I don't need to like pat down my face or anything like that. I feel like it's just such an easy sprayer it just it's that aerosol type of spray i feel like those are the best ones especially when it comes to setting uh makeup setting mist i wish all actually i wish all makeup setting mist regardless of whether they have spf or not came in an aerosol container i guess that's why i love the morphe um <laughs> where is it right here my morphe um of a continuous setting mist so much just because it gives that nice even finish it doesn't leave any droplets behind same as this one so again 10 hour wear test i am going to do a little touch up during lunch i'll show you guys that during my lunch break we'll reapply i'm gonna reapply later throughout the day before probably before i leave to work and then at the end of the day we will wrap up this entire video i have tried five setting sprays for you guys in today's video and I saved my holy grail for the last but is it going to retain a holy grail status we shall see stay tuned hey guys so here's the five hour check-in trying out my holy grail setting spray from Kate Somerville this is her um SPF 50 uncomplicated SPF and this is what my complexion is looking like I do see a little bit of shininess coming in on my nose so I have my powder puff that I used earlier today I'm just gonna lightly just tap I'm not adding like additional powder or anything I don't feel like I need to do that but I'm just tapping this area I actually think my forehead is pretty good it's just you know my nose my nose is always the first place to show um you know the oil but now i'm going to reapply the setting spray so let me give it a good shake just let it sit for a second this really is a nice setting spray because it doesn't leave any water droplets and it's just a quick and easy way to you know get that added sun protection during the day I am on my lunch break but as you can see from behind me it's a super overcast day I think we're in for I don't know some storms or something or other but I am going to reapply this before I head out for work uh, or leave for work for the day later on. And then when I get home, we are going to wrap up this entire video. I'm going to see if this is still going to be my holy grail setting spray or if one of the new ones I've tried is going to dethrone my Kate Somerville. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, we have reached the 10 hour mark of me wear testing my holy grail SPF makeup setting spray from Kate Somerville. Here's how my complexion is looking. I just uh, applied lipstick because I need to film the intro. <laughs> Go figure. I am doing the ending first before I do the intro. That's just the way it went today. But um, this is how my complexion is looking. I did reapply about an hour and a half ago. I. I still love it. I still love the setting spray. My makeup is intact. I don't see it like caking up. I don't see it coming off. I don't feel excess oily. I feel like everything still looks still looks pretty good. I don't have my little makeup puff here in front of me, but I have um, my makeup sponge that I used earlier today. So I'm just going to pat, even though I really don't need to. I'm really not I'm not excessively shiny or anything like that. And then I'm going to just reapply. I'm just going to take my fingers and just kind of pat the areas that typically 
may or may not get little water droplets but with this one i don't notice anything like that no water droplets like it's a very even mist and the scent it's just like an spf scent it really goes away rather quickly and it feels good i think it looks good it's a very lightweight setting mist and I'm still loving it. I still love it. Even though it's a bit on the pricey side, I think it is the most expensive one out of the bunch. But um, let me go ahead and rank them now. So I am keeping my Kate Somerville in the number one spot, but close, a very close second. And I would highly recommend this one if you cannot afford the Kate Somerville one. I totally understand that. The Kate Somerville setting spray is a rather expensive makeup setting spray, but this does go on sale. This does go on sale. So when you see it half off, I would definitely grab it. But coming in at a very close number two is going to be the Pixie one. Oh my gosh, this is great. This is great. This is going to last you beyond summer. This is their Sun Treats SPF 50 Sun Mist. I thought this was fantastic. These were all chemical sunscreens that I tested out. I don't know why I thought I had at least one mineral sunscreen, but they all contain chemical sunscreen ingredients. Um, but with that said, this is coming in at a very, I mean, a very close second place. And at 15 bucks, this is definitely worth trying out. You can find it at Target, although my local Target was completely sold out, but I did order it from the Pixie website. And I think I want to say they might be having a sale going on right now. They might be having like a 20% off site-wide sale, but Mother's Day is coming up, so you can definitely just wait for a sale and order it straight from Pixie. Coming in at number three is a new to me brand, and it's a new brand, I think, at Sephora. And this is something you might want to pick up right now during the sale, and it is the Soleil Toujours clean conscious set and protect micro mist this is spf 30 i thought the mister on it was fantastic yes i got a little bit shiny but nothing a little makeup puff couldn't take care of it was the mister for me on this one the very even application that i really liked and i didn't leave any water droplets behind i thought this was a really nice one a little bit on the expensive side it's in that 40 dollar price range so definitely see if you can pick it up during the sephora vib sale coming in at number four is this one from Kula and this is their new one they have another one I've tried that other one before it's okay I think I prefer this one over that other one that they have but this is their new one that's 70% organic this is their classic face mist. This one does contain SPF 50. Um, it does say it's non-greasy, lightweight hydration, and plant protection. The only thing I didn't really care for about this one, while it was a decent mist, it wasn't the finest of misters, and I could see some little droplets left behind, but again, just use your fingers to kind of pat that out. Don't use a puff. Don't use a damp sponge. Just kind of just use your fingers to press everything in. That way you make sure that SPF stays on the, the face and doesn't rub off on a sponge or a puff. Um, you know, this one I felt just caused a bit of excess excessive oiliness on my normal to oily skin and that's why I'm putting it in the number four spot but it's not terrible it's not I, I mean I've definitely tried worse SPF makeup setting sprays than this one it's it's pretty good it's just I think maybe if you have on the drier skin type normal to dry or full on dry I think that would work better for you coming in in last place Number five is going to be this one from Vacation, and this is their Super Setter SPF 50 Face Mist. This one for me, it did leave those little water droplets behind that I did have to tap out, and the mist wasn't as fine, and I noticed that I got oilier a lot sooner than I did with the other setting sprays. I didn't mind the scent in this one. This one has like their original scent, but this is the first time I'm ever trying this brand. So, you know, I actually didn't mind the fragrance or the scent in all of them. To me, all of these setting sprays smelled like sunscreen. Like you can't really get away from that. 
that, but they do go away. None of these scents lingered after like a minute of applying. Um, this one you can find at Ulta. That's where I picked it up. This is in the 20 some odd dollar price range. But if you're going to spend like $20, $25, I'd rather you not spend that and spend $15 and get the Pixie one instead because the Pixie one did a great job, but I haven't seen this go to Ulta just yet. I wanted to mention one other setting spray that I have tried on my channel, and it was kind of recently. It was this year, um, but I didn't include it in today's video just because I had already tried it, and I've tried it a few times since, and I'm getting the same results excessive oiliness very glowy and it is this one from pacifica this is their glow baby brightening setting mist with spf 45 this one is no this is also gonna be a chemical sunscreen but if you are looking for a very glowy makeup setting spray with spf then you're gonna want to get this one from pacifica and I'll have that video linked up above where I am trying this out. I've been using this on days where I go makeup free and I just need to re uh, touch up my sunscreen. This has worked perfectly for that. So that wraps up today's video, guys. I hope I was able to help you all make some good buying decisions when it comes to protecting your face, your neck, even your hands. Like spray this on your hands on your drive home from work or going to work. Um, but keep one of these like in your purse. I would and keep it in the car I think you know some of these are aerosols they're gonna get too hot but keep it in your work bag keep it in your purse travel with it that way you can reapply throughout the day it is so important that we protect our skin as much as we can from the harmful Sun's rays that's also how we can stay looking as young as possible for as long as possible but let me know your thoughts well what makeup setting spray out there that has SPF uh, do you currently love or maybe you're gonna be picking one of these up leave it in the comments down below i want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos you all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at stay hydrated guys drink your water wear your sunscreen and i will see you all very soon bye